Are you looking for a podcast about robots that are almost human? Then you must be thinking of another podcast. Oh! Good evening, Kelsey. Good evening, Robert. Hey, guess what? What? Somebody's here with me tonight. Are you in danger? Uh, no. Okay. No, I, I, I like unlock the door. Never. Blink, blink twice if you're in danger. Can shit, you see? Shit, me? I can't see you. <laughs> <laughs> I have Taylor here. Oh, hello. Howdy. Good evening, Taylor. How are you? I'm fine. Okay. I'm bored as fuck. <laughs> bored in the house. Bored in the house. In the house, bored. Da, 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 da. Aren't we all? Yeah. Oh, man. You never answered a question that I sent you the other day. What question? What kind of graphics card you have. Oh, shit. I was going to ask Richard and then I forgot. Uh, <laughs> it's... I'm looking I know at it now. Probably before the new RTX line of graphics cards. It's... Uh, there's, like, glowing letters coming out of the side of my computer. It's a GeForce GTX okay. 1080. Okay. So... You cannot partake in this. Okay. Which, which is sad. I have to tell you about a cool little thing that maybe we could look at in the future. Tell me about a thing. So I was on the TikToks, right? As you do. Just scrolling it, scrolling it. And there's this guy and he was um, he was streaming and he's like, can you guys hear this? And he had like a big like like shop floor fan in his arm, right? Oh my god. And then like a rubber mallet on the table and he's just like banging the table, right? Why? And I thought he was joking because I couldn't hear anything. I just heard him, right? (laughs) Okay. And then he goes, okay, now check this out. I'm going to turn the filter off. So he clicks a button and the fan is just like... (laughs) And he's like smacking the table, right? Okay. And he goes, dude, you guys, this is a fucking game changer. It's only on... The newer graphics cards from the one that you have, okay? So, there's the new RTX line, which does the ray tracing stuff. Uh Uh-huh. That's the one that I have. Apparently, NVIDIA just pushed out a beta for this thing called NVIDIA Voice, right? Okay. So, NVIDIA Voice uses RTX graphics cards to, through the GPU, eliminate all background noise from somebody's audio setup what and he's he's fucking got the fan going so it was quiet i thought he was joking right yeah he turns it off the fan's loud he you can hear him on the table and he goes now check this out and he clicks the button and he goes okay it takes a few seconds to like figure it out right and he's banging he's banging and then he goes but can you hear me don't i sound perfect and it eliminated every thing in the background what the fuck that's like the that, that's a game changer for podcasters. I know, but and that's for me, why my loud ass I needed to I'm know. Gaming. Yeah, that's why I needed to know what graphics card you had because I was gonna try it out. Yeah, for I want this, that shit. But I'm gonna try to get the beta and mess with it, and I'll let you know. Are graphics cards still like wildly expensive? Because I know there was a brief period of time where um, it was like you had to sell your your toes for one. Not really, because the whole like cryptocurrency thing kind of okay tanked out. Yeah. Um, the one that I have might be comparable to what you have now. Okay. Like, kind of. I bet, like, we would put out the same graphical power. Graphical it's power. Just, it's just I can do ray tracing where you can't. That's, I have like, no idea the main what ray tracing is. difference. That is a fucking whole other show, dude. <laughs> you say these words to me, and I'm just like, uh huh. <laughs> All these abbreviations and stuff. Yeah. Ray tracing, I'm... GPUs, RTX, K nine, FBI, following. CIA. Completely. <laughs> so anyway, that super intrigued me. I sent you that TikTok, but I needed to know that because I wondered if we could try to partake. Yeah, I want to so, partake. I'm gonna see if it really works. And try it out on a show, maybe? Yeah. Like, see, guys? There's always room for improvement in everything we do. And maybe that, trying. Like, dude, that would eliminate Truck Guy. 
Oh my god, fucking truck guy. <laughs> I don't even know if the audience is completely aware of truck guy because you you do so much work in the editing to like smooth out his goddamn engine. I there's tried. a man that lives across the street from me that just every fucking night at six forty five when we're recording, he's like, It's time to rev and he goes outside and just <laughs> for like half an hour at a time he for real goes outside sits in his truck and just like turns it on and revs it and has fun <laughs> i don't know what it. he's doing over there i wish i knew it makes me so mad that could be just monumental for us that's that's our next level right there that's what we need i know put it in the goals put it in the goals <laughs> put it in the goals <laughs> let's put it in the goals i'm writing it down right now so Graphic. anyway Hashtag goals <laughs> so yeah i i just needed to tell you about that because that could be big hell yeah so what have you been up to what's been going on uh still uh, can i take you can i take you on a journey sure take my hand both of you let us go to animal crossing corner okay <laughs> where we begin every single show now i love it um, here <laughs> i live here <laughs> um so we had we had a poll on our on our instagram uh-huh Wherein I asked the people, the good people of Earth, if I should restart my Animal Crossing Island because I am player two, essentially. I am not island representative. Yeah. Um, every single person on the poll said I should restart, except for me, because I voted twice. Once is me and once is the podcast. Oh, man. <laughs> I, because so, I was about to say. 100%. You, Everyone thinks I should start count. over. <laughs> yeah, <sighs> because start over. But... Here's the thing. Okay. <laughs> I got my 10th villager. Yeah. And I unlocked terraforming. Okay. And so I've been doing a lot of terraforming. So basically, <laughs> you just went against everything that I said. Well. Where I said, if you keep playing, <laughs> you're going to want to restart less every well, single kept minute. I playing, Robert. I know I just don't want to restart because my island is so pretty. You weren't supposed to. I think I'm just going to lean That's into fine. it. I'm going to use my terraforming tool to write a name in the cliffs. <laughs> I'm just going to be okay. like, this is my island, a name. I'm going to cover it in flowers. Okay. I'm going to embrace it. I'm embracing a name. All right. There you go. I, I do play mostly on Richard's account, but I did find out that... Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, player two can terraform. Player two cannot relocate buildings. Okay. And relocating buildings costs fucking money. It costs bells. You gotta pay bank to relocate shit. Every single resident they want to relocate, I built a nice, like, cliff face at the back of my island with all these waterfalls and flowers and stuff, and the staircases go, go up to it. And every resident that I want to relocate up there, 50k in bells. 50k to that raccoon. Yeah, no, I gave Taylor some bells one day. She's like, I just need to do this, like, today. I, just... I moved every single one of my neighbors and myself. <laughs> It takes forever because you have to yeah. like you have to make the money and you have to get the cash up front so that he gives you the kit and then you have to go take the kit to the cliff face and like put it out where you mapped it out because I've been mapping my shit out with like dirt squares and stuff. And, and then... I had to remove like two of my neighbors twice because oh, no. I fucked up where I put them. <laughs> uh, yeah, I I've been going around with like the terraforming tool and you could put down like squares. I mean, you could do it too with like. A custom paint thing where you just like stick it on the ground you know yeah but um so i know that the homes are four squares by four squares so i'm like i'm gonna map this out and i like traced in the dirt like this is where cherry's home goes this is where cookie's home goes this is where punchy's home goes so. see the, this is gonna be the thing i want something manicured like that but i'm probably not gonna do that kind of work so i'm gonna need one of you two to like help me do that it's so much fun. It's so soothing. I spent yeah. literally like 12 hours the other day just making cliffs. Jesus. And they look I, so good. I'm gonna have, you're going to have to come to my island and check it out. Okay. Come I to actually, a name. I actually watched a TikTok the other day of a girl who was like, here's how you map out your stuff. And she showed how she did it. And she had like graph paper oh and God. like had calculus over here on this page like okay so this is how to maximize the space here's this and this and she did a full grid like measured it out i wanted to do that like i i was very tempted to buy graph paper and like, <laughs> that's go, amazing go that ham on it <laughs> i i i can't like get the graphing paper out and do all that but it, it was hard for me to visualize but once i realized i want like a cliff face of homes at the back i was like okay 
motherfucking truck guy out there. I swear to God. <laughs> okay. So I, I was like, I want this cliff face. And then I raised it up where I wanted it. And then I, you know, traced out all the homes. I like mapped it out with hedges and stuff. I was like, this is where this is going to go. This is where that's going to go. And I don't know. It's, it's very fun. Yeah. It was hard to conceptualize and it was difficult to start. I was like, I don't know if I really want to terraform. What if I actually like the island the way it is? But now that I've started, no, I, I will not stop. No, like, you need to terraform because your island Gotta. might be good, but it could be better, you it know? It could be so much better. I see a lot of people take out all bodies of water almost entirely. They just, like, wall up everything so it's all land, tons of room to just do stuff. That seems But then boring. you can't catch any of the fish later when they come, because some are, like, clifftop fish only, or pond yeah. fish only, so... Or, like, need specifically to have in the mouth of a river, like, you can't... Yeah. You can't cut that shit off. Exactly. I'm gonna crack this thing open. I need to do that, too. Getting heated. Ooh. Stereo. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I've been terraforming. Uh, so I've claimed the island. It is my island. I will live with it. I think once I get all the buildings moved where I want them to be and all that funded, then I will go back and play on my own avatar. But for now, no, it's just won't. me as Richard. Okay. Um, just swap characters. Like, change Richard's character into a girl. But they then... call him Richard still. Eh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <You> just... <laughs> You're Kelsey, but you go by Richard in yeah. this game. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't mind having two accounts. It's, I mean, it is what it is. I'm, Did you know I'm that I still don't have terraforming? Do you have ten islanders yet? Yes. Why haven't you got terraforming? Because I don't have three stars for my oh, island. Oh, yeah. Because so... I, don't, I don't buy items. I don't put them out. I'm just making money for my big-ass house. So it's like, play the game the other ways, kid. <laughs> I'm like, I want to. Right. So the thing is, I thought that you would have to get five stars to have KK Slider come. But when I hit three stars, they were like, oh, yep. KK Slider left a review and he, he could come to our island, perhaps. And that was that was just after I bought like 30 little packages of flowers and was like, this place needs flowers. I'm going to put flowers everywhere. And I just coated the island in flowers. Oh, uh, well, see, mine, they say I don't have enough scenery they said so like make more do it yourself stuff so i need to like oh. make items like i need items out and about see so I, I just bought like two stuff. pieces of stuff for the playground so i bought like a jungle gym and a sandbox and stuck those out oh but i did make i did make some stuff on our beach so yeah make some stuff it's it's not hard <laughs> i don't want to make any stuff but you can make some easy stuff, like make a make a bonfire and stick that out, and then put little like wood stools around it, and then people are like, "Ooh, a bonfire with stools! I will sit here." No. At least just do it to the point where you get terraforming. Well, that's why I bought a lighthouse. I bought a. You bought a lighthouse. Uh, yeah. Goddamn. From the uh, Nook Miles thing. Yeah. Uh, I bought the water fountain. <clears throat> Do it yourself. I got a uh, lifeguard chair that I put on the beach, <laughs> and then a telescope. And I was like, I did like three things, like good enough. And they were like, no. Yeah, I probably got like twenty things just kind of littered around the island. But my pink roses grew today. Oh, I was laying down roses the other day, and I was like, yeah. Rabbit Robert has a shitload of roses on his island. I think you can make orange roses, can't you? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. If you like breed them, there's this whole like mini game within the game of breeding flowers and I'm like what yeah it's, there's so it's much a, it's a science <laughs> and there's another mini game there's so there's so many like little things to do in animal crossing it's beautiful and wonderful but i don't know how to get into it like the turnip market the stock market yeah what how so, so dong. <laughs> <laughs> there's so many people that are like i bought turnips at like 72 bells and i sold them for a million bells a piece and i'm rolling in it now i'm like i ha, what so a lot of people play it different than us though a lot of people are doing it like online and like going to like yes. the nookazon thing and being like hey yes. i see that your your turnips are selling for 300 a piece can i come to your island and then and they, they go, like sure go to the island and they're like yeah take your clothes off as payment like i'm not gonna do that i have shame yeah like <laughs> well so i have an app on my phone now 
that you put in what you buy the the uh, turnips for, right? Yeah. And then every morning and afternoon, you put in the prices that they're selling for, and it keeps... Do- so, what they sell for in a week is hard-coded into the game. Okay. But there's, like, a bunch of different branches that it can go off of. What? So, what this app does is it dwindles down based on what you put in, which, like, track you're on, and then you can see what your ranges will be each day. That's right? wild. So now that it's Tuesday, I went from like 20 different routes. I think there's seven routes that I could hit. Oh my God. And the most that I'll make this week is 126. That's it, like my maximum. That's it? Yeah, so I bought at 90. Okay. And I'm going to hit 126 one day. <laughs> So you make like 30 bills per turnip. I mean, that's not terrible. Something. And I bought 500,000 worth, so. What? What? <laughs> yeah. How many, Dude. Where, where are you getting money? I can't make money on this island. <laughs> I have I have like 1.5 million in the savings right now. What's the matter with it. you? He doesn't spend it. I, I told you. That's why they're like, your island is stupid, sir. You oh don't my spend God. anything. I know. I'm so, over here struggling, asking him for bells <laughs> to like move my my neighbors, and he's like, "Bells for you." Here you I go. Suppose. Oh my god! Yeah, and then CJ was at my island yesterday, so I sold like two hundred thousand in fish in like an hour. So when you sell fish to CJ, is it like selling bugs to Flick? Like he pays more for them? Yeah. Yeah. He pays one point five the amount. I should start just saving my fish and bugs. You should, and then. When the day comes, you just go, here you go. Just overwhelm. <laughs> just ruin like... the island's economy. <laughs> like, I for real put everything from my pockets in storage, and I made two fishing rods, and I fished until everything was full, and then I sold to them, and then I did it again, and I went through four fishing rods last night. That's so many. I don't have the patience for that. Like, that's so grindy. <laughs> but that's how you make the money, though. That's the only way to make money is to I don't want money. Grind. I just want to make cliffs and move homes. <laughs> Ugh. So my my entire attic is uh, because turnips can't go in your storage. They can only that's... go on the ground. Yeah, so I just see people with, like, their island is littered with turnips. I'm like, what are you doing with your life? What is yeah. what is this? So my entire attic is just uh, nothing but turnips all over the floor. Damn. All right. It's 60 turnips, and each one is a set of 100, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so it's like 600 turnips in the attic alone. I'm going to tell you right now, that's too many turnips. I know, but it's just too many. You people have too many. Parts. When it when it uh, comes time to cash them in, so that's why I, I was saying it's based on how you play. Because Sean actually sold his turnips today, but he f- had a friend online, and his was selling for three hundred and seventy two, and he turned a two million bell profit. That's disgusting. <laughs> I don't even. But know. I don't. I don't have these friends, so I'm just going to turn it from 90 to 100. It's fine. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, there's, like, online marketplaces where people will post their show on a prices be like, mine are 550 today. I'm just, I, I don't know. It's, it's, I want to get into it, but it's so intimidating. Yeah. I don't know where to start. I'm going to have to buy, like, two turnips because it's all I can afford from that snotty-nosed <laughs> pig. <laughs> Taylor's sister actually tried interacting with somebody online for stuff. Like yeah. the other day, and it went like really, really good. Okay, I mean, yeah. everyone who plays Animal Crossing, I feel, is very nice, and they all want to help. Some that's mostly that's my experience so far. I don't know. I'm it's, I'm not afraid to go online and ask for, for help at Animal Crossing, whereas like other games where you had the potential to go to someone's island and like I don't know yeah. get shackled to something in a basement. <laughs> I don't feel like that's going to happen to me at Animal Crossing, but perhaps I am wrong. No. Unless you go to Harvey's. Oh my god, no. no don't go to Harvey's. <laughs> <laughs> it's Danger Island. Danger Island. There is one new friend on Animal Crossing that I am very excited has come to my island. He's a shady little motherfucker, but he's cute oh as hell. God. And I'm Red. buying all of his shit. I love Red. <laughs> I got so excited. Okay, so he rolls up on my island and is like, give me $500,000 for this 
painting. I'm like, fucking no. And he's like, <laughs> well, fine. Cousins discount, $5,000. And so you get the painting and they donate to the thing and you get the art museum. And I got so excited. I was like, there's going to be so much art in this game. And then he parks his little boat on my secret beach. And then I go see him in his boat and he's selling these paintings. And I see this painting. It's the girl with the pearl earring. And I'm like, oh my God, I know this painting. And then I look at it and I'm like, why is her earring a star shape? And then I realize this motherfucker can sell you counterfeit shit. I'm like, what? <laughs> so- I was like waiting for the story to go. Yes, I bought like all the art. Oh no. And all I'm of it's smarter bad. than this. <laughs> I, I literally like, I, I saw this painting and I was like, is he trying to sell me shady shit? Because he talks so shady, you know? He's like, oh, discounts. I got legit art. And I'm like, no, yeah. it doesn't seem legit, Fox Man. And he's always like, you won't regret this. I know. I was like, am I going to regret it? <laughs> but no. So I studied all these paintings very closely, and I Googled them because I know these paintings because I studied art, and I'm finally being oh, able man. to use my degree in this game. <laughs> That's what just hit me. I was like, see, we go to this website that like shows you the real one for versus the fake one. Oh, and I'm like, okay. Kelsey doesn't need this. She she actually <laughs> does know these. Now I look at it, I'm like, that samurai's eyebrows are wrong. <laughs> that one I would have picked up on, but a lot of the rest of them I would have never known. Man. Now, it's... there are some that are always legit, though. Okay. So they don't have, like, counterfeit you. versions? Some of them don't, but a lot of them do. This game is fascinating. It's so multifaceted. There's, like so much shit you can do there's like there's a piece of the game for everybody you know yep yeah i'm still trying to find mine well yours is clearly just hoarding bells and, and fishing fishing yeah Pretty much. no mine is acquiring all of the robotic animals which yeah by the way i have one and i didn't even know it oh my god who do you have so my alligator that i hated because he made me miss the egyptian cat (laughs) yeah he's he's apparently a robotic alligator okay i didn't know that so i guess i I gotta keep him i had my uh first villager leave did you it didn't it didn't upset me as much as i thought it was going to (laughs) because it was so i was judgmental well they ask you permission (laughs) They do ask you permission, and it was nice. She wasn't like, I'm fucking leaving, bitch. Peace. (laughs) It wasn't like that. Peace (laughs) out. No, so I was judgmental when I first started Animal Crossing because people were like, no ugly villagers on my island, only the cute ones. I'm like, that's kind of mean. But this cow's a little bit ugly. Ugly. (laughs) And I'm (laughs) not mad to see her go. (laughs) I mean... I thought that was kind of a weird mentality, too. And now I'm like, ew, yeah. why would I want you? <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I had a dude in my tent turn around the other day. And that's what I did. Just, ew. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Gross. bye. <laughs> yeah, some of them. There was uh... one that, I, sorry. No, there go There was ahead. one that um, I was trying to get my last villager and I got, like, five different Nook Piles tickets. And I was like, I am going to bring home a cute-ass villager this time. <laughs> it's my last one. I'm going to make it a good one. And, like, the first one was okay. And I was like, no, I, I'm going to keep looking. And then the second one was okay. And then I went to the third one. And it was the scary-ass fucking pig that I didn't even <laughs> talk to. I just, I literally walked onto the island, saw him, and turned my ass around and left. <laughs> So, leave. that's the one that's an evil scientist. <laughs> oh my god. He looked like a zombie. I did he not does. like it. No, thank you. Oh, I love this game. It's so good. <laughs> so, we've been talking about how quarantine may have actually... We thought that it was a good thing for this game, but we think it may have actually worked to Animal Crossing's detriment. Why? Actually. So, they keep nerfing a lot of stuff, and I actually watched a video today that people are uh, review bombing Animal Crossing, like, horrendously. It holds, like, a 50 on uh, Metacritic. Oh, fuck. And it's because of a lot of people saying, like, well, I used to be able to catch butterflies, but now I can't, so zero stars, Nintendo, and it's not- That's so dumb. Yeah, that's not a real review. But that's what people are doing with it right now. That's lame. I 
I don't know. Like, it makes me kind of sad because, like, I was telling my sister this earlier today. I was like, I, I really loved it when, you know, the quarantine thing happened and Animal Crossing was kind of the thing to, like, fall back on and that became you know the popular thing to do while in quarantine and i was like cool animal crossing is my shit this is get finally getting recognized like i've been playing this game since i was a kid and like i've always felt that it was so underappreciated and with the quarantine i felt like it was finally getting the recognition it deserved and now like people are abusing it by time traveling <laughs> and like making yeah. Nintendo nerf all this shit and like they're messing with the you know the whole bank account nook bank account thing and the economy and all of it and now I'm like I hate quarantine you ruined my game <laughs> <laughs> yeah like so they keep trying to change things to edit the habits of time travelers right I did not even know that time travel was a thing in this game until somebody was like, you could just travel. And I was like, what do you mean? But you <laughs> cannot. That no. is That is a heathenistic way to play. <laughs> I feel like I would feel bad about it, you know? Yeah. What's the point of time travel? What do you, what do you do? Like, it just advances, like, if you're, if you're trying to build something, it advances yeah, the time like, for that? So, with the whole, like, moving your neighbors thing, you could pay the 50000 to, and then, like, put the camp or the kit where you wanted it, and then yeah. fast forward to the next day so that it's already moved. Or um, the reason they messed with the whole Nook bank account thing was because, I guess, it accrued interest, which I didn't even oh. know. So, yeah, I didn't know that either. People would fast forward, like, five months into time, and Whoa. then they'd have a shit ton of bells in their bank account. Oh, my God. Yeah, so you apparently get... Five, five percent of what's in your Nook account or your savings account. Yeah, the, the the first of each month. Okay. So I guess people were time traveling like a hundred years. Oh my god! And just like turning like ten thousand bells into ten million bells, and then they time travel back to now and be playing the game like they had ten million bells the whole time. I just feel like I don't know. I've never really understood that aspect of the game like where the point of the game is to kind of you're the uh what am i trying to say here it's it's a life simulator in which yeah. you are yeah, exactly. moving to an island where you have nothing and then you have to build it from the ground up which exactly if you're this fast forwarding in time <laughs> yeah it's not meant to happen within a few days you're yeah just, it's such a laid back like, chill these game people with that need instant gratification need to get the fuck off of here <laughs> yeah like in the sims it's different because you can you know what i would do in the sims is just you know rosebud or whatever and get just the billion dollars and then you know have the sim have a crazy fucking life, but then you move on to the next save, and you're like, "This one, I'm going to start with zero dollars, and I'm keep her at zero dollars forever." Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, and you but, could like kind of mess with the time in Sims. Yeah, but in Animal Crossing, it was part of the game. Animal Crossing, it's meant to be played. In it's real so time. Real time. linear. Yeah. Yes. If there was like different save states, maybe, or if you had different accounts that you could swap between, but just having the one island, the one save, it's it's very permanent. <laughs> Yeah. That's why they are patching in all of the holidays and events and stuff so that people can't fast forward to like Christmas and shit and then take advantage of the people who don't time travel by like selling them for like five billion milk miles yeah, or and then whatever. Yeah. And like, well I got Santa's secret present that you get at the end of the thing and <laughs> yeah. it's like March, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, good on Nintendo for figuring out ways around this shit. Yeah, but bring back the butterflies, because that yeah, harms no. nobody. That, yeah. that doesn't really help anyone. Yeah. True. That's how I made my money, is off peacock butterflies. <laughs> That's all I got for Animal Crossing Corner. That's Animal Crossing Corner. <laughs> the whole Thank episode. You. Thank you for joining, everybody. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> so, this episode uh, comes out on May the 4th. Mm-hmm. We know what day that is. Star no. Wars Appreciation Day. Come on. <laughs> yeah. You know I this. Know. So, have you heard that The Mandalorian is putting out an eight-episode series of a documentary of the making of The Mandalorian? 
No. Yes. Okay. That's happening. Oh my god. You two are way more excited about a, a about a director's commentary than I am right now. You know what this means? We're going to see Yoda. so much Baby Yoda. Oh my god. I want to see the puppet. Show me the baby. Show me the baby. So I have a question, Kelsey. Yes, Robert. If if I were to buy you the Baby Yoda Funko Pop, would you love it? I don't think I would. I haven't seen it, but just the word Funko Pop makes my stomach turn. (laughs) I know, but he's 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 really cute. Does that give you Uncanny Valley or? You just don't like it. It's Fungo Pops uh, is very Uncanny Valley to me. <laughs> <laughs> Show me the baby. Where is he? Um, hold on one. Oh, I love him. Oh, oh God. His <laughs> eyes are so big. You don't, you don't like him? I haven't seen him. Oh, okay. Show I thought you picture. Look at the Very baby. Cool. I love him. He's, he's really cute. Give me the baby. Throw on this in uh, general for you. All right. Okay. Ew. Uh, no. Oh God. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't like it. It kind of yeah, looks fine. like the baby from uh, Men in Black, the little squid baby. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. His it eyes looks are the exact too black. Same. It's the same. It's not. Baby Yoda has like eyes, right? He has like pupils. Yeah. I mean, I'm looking at a picture of both side by side. Yeah. And he's yeah, got like a nice chocolate though. brown, cute little eye. But still, the, you could just get a Sharpie and color them in yourself. <laughs> no. Paint his eyes. I hate Funko Pop eyes. Why do they do that with all their eyes? I think I they're like fine. Them. No, I hate them. They're yeah. total blackness. <laughs> uh. Some of them it looks weird on, but most, yeah. for the most part, I think it looks cute. Have you um, heard the legend of Black Eyed Kids? No. no. Okay, that's why this fucks with me, I think. is because, like, there's... <laughs> there's this conspiracy theory out Funko there Pops for me yeah yeah I'm get ready <laughs> so i need you to google black-eyed kids because there's a whole thing it's like a paranormal conspiracy where these alien children come down and like inhabit these kids bodies and it's it's part on candy valley because it's like aliens walking around in a skin suit you know that's just not quite right Ugh. and uh so they'll arrive on your doorstep and they'll ring your doorbell and ask for help and the only like they kind of talk for like somebody who isn't from Earth or isn't from this time, and okay. they. Uh, why are we getting into paranormal stuff on this podcast all of a sudden? <laughs> but so the it's only what we do the only giveaway is that like in the right light when you look at the kids they'll have full black eyes like this, okay. and they're there's like they're very sinister and they're trying to kill you. I don't know. I, it's it's very scary. Get this Funko Pop oh away God. from me. Okay. <laughs> I will never bring so you a Funko Pop again. She's afraid of them because they might be a black eyed child. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it you might never be. know. Not black eyed peas, black eyed kids. I'm going to send you I'm gonna send you pictures and you're going to cry. <laughs> I already pulled up some stuff. Okay. Yeah. Go down that Wikipedia rabbit hole. I hate it. I will. I will. Okay, so so back on the Mandalorian, I'm just I'm just very excited. Anyway, yes. Well, I guess. Show me the baby. I guess we know what we're watching. Yes. I can't believe they have a full eight episodes on it. Like that's that's a lot of content right there. Yeah. I mean, I, that's just like a normal featurette, just broken down a bit. Because they're going to be what, like twenty minutes a piece again? I feel like they're going to be full hour episodes. I don't know about that. I don't know either. I'm just making stuff so up. So is it behind the scenes stuff or yeah? So it's commentary? like it's definitely it's all no, behind, like the behind the scenes and like the making See, of. I love that shit. I do I too. See all the behind the scenes shit. The props and the screens and yes. all that. I love it. All I, the stuff like before the the CGI and stuff. Yes, I kind of wonder if something like this would have success if we weren't all quarantined. <laughs> yeah, because like. There's so much availability now on streaming services that I feel like things that wouldn't have found success prior to this are now getting a new foothold. Like, you guys like The Mandalorian. How about eight episodes more about oh, sort of the same stuff? <laughs> yeah, I think uh, streaming platforms are just getting kind of a renaissance right now. And speaking of which, Trolls 2. So you guys rented Trolls 2, right? Yes. yes. I still haven't, and I want to. It's but, beautiful. It's so, such a good movie. 
Trolls 2 apparently has done better in its three weeks of streaming than Trolls 1 did in five months of theatrical run. I totally buy that. That's crazy to me. Like, how how is a movie put out on streaming doing so much better? And then movies, I don't know, what, why didn't we think of this until now is my thing. Well, I mean, that's what Netflix and stuff is, you know? It's true, yeah. But, like, I guess the difference is with, like, Netflix, you can't say, oh, well, that movie did really good because you're not paying for the movie. You're paying for the service overall, right? Yeah. Yeah. But this movie, you were paying $20 for that movie right now. Right. You know? We will have to see how that works going forward because right now the movie theaters are closed. How else am I going to watch Trolls 2? So everyone's just going to lazily pick up a remote buy it real quick and that's it you know yeah like i think it's a circumstance of the time i don't know if that would be a thing going forward because like you and i have already said we like that experience of the theater you know right yeah i'm just wondering if i don't know so if they put out a movie available to stream but then they also released it in theater would you find yourself wanting to go to the theater over the stream if it was a movie that i wanted to see like that yeah yeah, I would too. I don't know, maybe it would be a good idea to do that with like kids movies. For sure with kids then movies. Par- yeah, oh, yes. then parents wouldn't have to like make time to like take all the children out to the theater in public and plus like, then and... I get to go see this kids movie <laughs> in <Yeah>. peace. Yeah, <laughs> in peace. absolutely. <laughs> and then there's the whole factor. So I wonder how much of it is because when it goes into the theaters, the actual creators of the movie aren't seeing the full price of what we're paying for the movie you know yeah so like on the streaming platform that twenty dollars that 1999 is going right in the pocket of the well, company well i mean that's what happens at the movie theater too does so it i like, thought every ticket that's sold that goes straight to them okay all your popcorn goes to that theater okay yeah that's all why right. the concessions are so stupid expensive yeah, yeah. because <laughs> they get no money from all of us buying tickets to trolls 2 so that's Another worry about theaters, I, oh, I don't want theaters to go by the wayside because they have to find some other way to make money that's not a $20 bucket of popcorn. Yeah. Yeah. Well... I guess that's why they started selling merch, too. I was going to say, do you go to Cinemark's, AMC's? You do more studio movie grill, right? Yeah, but I've seen your, like, Funko Pops <laughs> that are <laughs> Cinemark exclusive <laughs> or whatever. Yeah, so Cinemark sells, like, blankets now. So, like, when we what? went to see Dumbo... Taylor yeah. got a fleece. I got a Dumbo blanket. Yeah. Cute. It's the cutest fucking blanket in the world. Uh, they sell t-shirts, so, like, when you go see the news, Spider-Man, you can, like, buy a shirt right there. You okay. Know? Yeah. So they kind of have gotten into that. Now, Cinemark has. I don't know if anyone else is really doing that. AMC kind of did. When we went to, uh, me and your mom went to the Best Picture, Best Showcase. Picture Showcase. Yeah. They had a bunch of stuff to, for okay. sale. Okay. So, like, they're kind of getting there because... Dude, who wants to buy, like, a $10 Coke, you know? Right. Yeah. When Nobody you wants just to bring do your own in your giant purse. Exactly. Alongside 35 Jello shots, if you want. <laughs> <laughs> and just and leave, leave them all and under leave the, the cups under the seat. <laughs> <laughs> Not that we have experience with that or anything. <laughs> yeah, we don't know about that. <laughs> who would do such a thing? <laughs> Hoodlums. <laughs> I think that that is really cool okay so i am i am happy about that news because i want you know the studios to still be making their money and doing their stuff right right but i don't want that to be the future of movies yeah i move going to the movies is just such an experience that everyone should get to have i know it's too like it's too precious to me i don't want to give that up i don't want to give that up either and i've seen a lot of people saying like they should do this for all movies. And I'm like, no, I will no. cling to this. But like, <laughs> no. Give me that's the just theater. because you're being lazy. That's just because you're lazy. Yeah. I mean, I already told you that I gave a speech about that in college because <laughs> Netflix was new and everybody was like, why would I go to a movie? I can just wait seven months yeah. and then watch it on Netflix. And I was like, Ridiculous. that's the stupidest idea. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah. God, I gave... I was so mad about that that I gave a whole speech. It was yeah. great. <laughs> Soapbox, Robert. I know. Oh, I wanted to tell you, have you 
Have it, have you spent your money that you got yet? Uh, not yet. We have an idea of what we want to do. Like we're just doing kind of home improvement stuff right now. Yeah, boring adult things. So, I was not gonna buy my fancy chair because oh, you decided I'm against like, it. Eh. Well, I yeah, I wasn't gonna. I was like, it's fine. Like, there's probably better things that I could do with it, right? Okay. Well, the chair that I'm using now, after working, like, you know, two full months sitting in this chair for, like, 20 hours a day. Yeah. You know? Um, back fucking hurts, man. It's I not bet. comfortable. Well, if you go look at the Secret Lab chairs now, they are all back-ordered. They're all, like, on pre-order. And I remember checking it before and being like, oh, so they're kind of not in stock. Oh They've sold God. out waves. So they did, like, a pre-order wave. Here's, like, this many chairs that we're going to sell. And they sold them. They said, okay, we'll ship more a month later. And they sold through that wave of chairs. And now they're in a third wave of pre-orders to what buy the these fuck? chairs. So now I'm extra not going to buy one because now they're not even on sale. And you want me to wait? Until June? Stupid. <laughs> That's forever. I'll just die. You probably won't even, hopefully, you probably won't even be working at home by then. <laughs> yeah, so. My husband's office just announced that they're going to be working from home until at least August 1st. Woo, oh. damn. Yeah. Seat of death. <laughs> this is the chair I want you to get. <laughs> okay. I will buy that. All right. I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to come in here and see that. That's what you're going to look like after sitting in that chair for yeah, six no. months. <laughs> Free me. Oh, my God. Uh, no, I'm so I'm looking for stuff to buy. I'm I'm in the market for some new earbuds. Okay. And I know that you are, like, the sound guy, so I wanted to bring this to you before I make any decisions on a purchase. I feel like I'm not even the sound guy. It's just I did the research just so that I bought mine and I was happy about what I bought. Exactly. So you're the research guy when it comes to technology. So I'm going to okay. present you with this. Okay. I want wireless buds. Yeah. I want to be able to make phone calls with them. Yeah. And I want them to have good base. Yeah. What should I get? Samsung buds. <laughs> Honestly, she's not wrong. <laughs> Samsung, They're like... amazing. So... All the new Samsung phones that come out, you uh -huh. get... Well, okay, so when Taylor got the S10, they gave her the Samsung Buds with the phone, right? Because it, cause it was like, this is brand new to go with the phone. Like, everybody gets a pair, right? Okay, yeah. So she got these Buds, and they are okay. She really likes them, but they are just okay. When the S11 came out, they did not give them away with the phone. The 20... Oh, yeah. The 20, my bad. We skipped over. So, when the 20 came out, right? Uh-huh. They did not give them out, but they were giving people, like, a credit that you could, like, get them with, kind of. Okay. And they did... So, they basically tried to make AirPod ones. So yeah. Air, so, AirPod did the AirPod Plus, or Pro, right? Yeah. Everyone's trying, the, like, the AirPod adjacent thing right now. Yeah. Which I like. Well, so Samsung just made the Samsung Bud Plus, which is like their more premium model, I guess. And that's what the new ones are. Okay. And everybody has said it's the best wireless headphones you can get, hands down, like no contest. They they were like AirPods were pretty much the top. These make AirPods look look like shit. Okay, so let me let me so let me look up truly Samsung and Buds they have pretty Plus. Colors. Buds could be the plus. Ones. Okay, the colors are a big factor for me because what I'm yeah. looking at, I'm looking at the Google Buds. You see, you only want that because it says Google. It is, <laughs> and that's correct. That's 100% but correct. they are not great. But they're just yeah. so cute. It's like you're wearing a little Mentos in your ear. Oh, my God. I just wound it. The Fresh Maker. Let me look fresh at in these ear holes. <laughs> <laughs> um, see, I was looking at that, and then somebody was like, online talking about the um the jabra 75t which i thought you had but you have the 65t right yeah so that's the new model of mine and as soon as they came out i was like god i would love to update to these because <laughs> they are so much smaller yeah like, they 
fit, they look like they would sit so much better. And I was like, whoa, I want those so bad. Yeah, that's that's another issue that I'm having. It's like I want one that's going to be comfortable to wear for hours at a time because with Richard working from home for so long, I'm going to want some kind of earbud that I can wear because I, I love my Steel Series headphones, but I don't want to wear them all day. Yeah. Well, that's just like a little too much. Like that's that's like a lot on your head. The it like is. wireless earbuds. Okay. So when I first got them, I was kind of worried about them. Worried they were going to get lost in your ear canal? No, I was like because I don't like earbuds. I only like over the ear. Yeah. Right? That's pretty much like, how I am. Like the inside of my ear yeah. I feel is smaller than normal. So I I like the big ones, you know, that you can just stick on the outside yeah. of your head. So then I was kind of worried, like, hey, how do they sit in your ear, right? Uh-huh. Well, so the... How did you say my brand? Jabra? Jabra, yeah. Is that not what it is? Jabra, yeah. I don't know, but I always say Yabra. 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 <laughs> I always call them Yabras. Yabra. <laughs> so I get my Yabras, right? Okay. Um, they, you put in facing down, and then you twist them into place. That's weird. So, like, you don't just stick them in. You, okay. you, like, actually have to, like, put them in a certain way, and then they twist into the shape that they're supposed to go in, and it almost creates, like, a suction. Ooh. And the first time I did it, yeah, I didn't like it. Like, it really bothered me. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> oh, but, dude, once you get used to it and stuff... Once you get used to the brain sucker, it's not that bad. Yeah. <laughs> dude, <laughs> I can wear those earbuds for, like, six hours straight, and my ears never hurt. Okay. Like, I can wear those for a long time. Now, they have actual buttons. So, like, when you're going to, like, switch to a new song or something, you have to actually press a button. Okay. So you're so you're mushing it into yeah. your ear to press you're the button, right? You're going to lose it down into the canal. The Samsung Buds Plus, they are touch sensitive. Yeah. So That's what like, Google's are. I like the features on the Galaxy Buds because... Like he said, it's touch sensitive. So I like that you can just tap one and you can pause your song or your podcast or whatever. And then you can tap it and it starts playing again. Or um, I like that uh, you have the, there's like an ambience setting mm-hmm. where you can have it to where you're um, listening to music, but you can hear everything that's going on around you still. Okay, sweet. Okay. So that, so that sounds like more like what I'm looking for. The Samsung ones? Like, top tier battery life. No wireless earbuds last as long as these right here. Okay. The Buds Plus, they go 11 fucking hours, dude. Jesus Christ. I want to remind that people is... that we are not a sponsored podcast. We're just Ridiculous. passionate. Ridiculous. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But that's 11 <laughs> hours. That is huge. You know? Yeah. Like, like mine were the best when I bought them, and they go five. Goddamn. This is like a year later, and it's over double. Like me with my switch. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> like that is a stupid amount of battery life. That is a full day of working. Yeah, that's kind of awesome. Um, I can't do mine the full day of work. Like, there's there's no way. What is the price point on these? Because I'm looking at the website now. And... Uh, I think they're like 150 What? They might be too. Oh, yeah, they are. Shit, 150 Yeah. That's yeah. cheaper they're than... They're 150 Because both the Yabras and the... Uh... Mm-hmm. The Google Yabra. Buds, Yabra, they're both yeah. 180 and the Google doesn't yeah. even come with a fucking charging case, which is why I was like, maybe I shouldn't. Yeah, and I love the little case that it comes with, too. So yeah. these ones come with a charging case? Yep. And? So you, like, plug in the whole entire case. Well, if you ever finally come back to Samsung, they can charge on top of your phone. Yeah. What? Okay. Yeah, you flip that your was the whole premise. and there's, like, a setting... You can tell your phone to charge your... Your case. Your case, yeah. yeah. Okay, fucking cool. So, like, you don't even need a plug. You can use your phone. Because that was so the whole like, premise I, whenever they came and out. And, like, there was one time where I was at work and I only had the one charger on me. So I plugged my phone in and then I put my buds on top of it. And so I was charging both of them at the same time. Hell yeah. yeah. Um, as for base, I mean, of course, I haven't used these ones, the, the buds plus, but supposedly... The base is on point. They will rattle the skull. Because that's what was the big selling point on mine. The, yeah, uh, the Yabras. Yeah, yeah they, they have great bass, and they fucking do, man. That was oh, the thing about... So their, their sound is pretty 
pretty okay. on point. Yeah. I, I would, my advice, though, um, I would do your very best to um, make sure you put the right size uh, ear tip tip on it. Yeah, because there was a couple times where I've had them kind of slip out. <laughs> oh, really? Shit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> But All if right. you got mine, you have it just sucks into your brain and it's <laughs> dang going there. nowhere. I mean, I don't want that. But yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. I put like the, because I have really tiny baby ears too, and I put like the smallest little bud, like ear sleeve on it. Yeah. And uh, it actually kind of fell out my ear, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, every time that I've looked up buds lately, Galaxy Buds Plus is always the top of the list. Every okay. time. Good advice all right see this is why i come do things i was like 10 minutes away from buying the fucking google yeah. buds last night and no. i was like i should go to sleep no. and stop making decisions on the internet <laughs> at 1 a.m <laughs> so hands down it's these like these are supposed to be the best ones for the sound for like the calls there's probably ones that are better but i mean how often are you going to be trying to like take a call while you do this too I I really hate holding a phone to my head. Something about it just makes my skin crawl. <laughs> so Yeah, and they they sound really good with calls too. So Okay. I I have used mine to like grocery shop. And, I mean, and I'm like talking on the phone with my sister. Can you like talk while the buds are in your ear and you don't have to talk into the phone like you're talking to no, a yeah. slice of pizza? Yeah, you're yeah. I'm just rolling around with my cart, my phone's in my purse or my pocket or whatever and my earbuds are in and I'm just talking like <laughs> she's next to me. Okay, nice. Great. Yeah, I don't know if it's like a generational thing or not, but like I, I can't, I can't take a phone call on my cell phone without it being on speakerphone. Like I, I, I Ugh, hate it. Gross. It drives me nuts. I can't hold a phone to my head. I haven't held a phone to Why? my head since perhaps the Nokia brick. Like speakerphone is the worst invention of all time. I hate it when people use it. It's the worst. I don't do it in public because I'm not a monster, but. <laughs> I just hate it when people talk on speakerphone and they're still like, what? What'd you say? I know. Huh? I'm like, it is like ten times louder than yeah. what it normally is. <laughs> what is wrong with you? So, that's the that's our recommendation. Okay, thank you. Yes, please get them. So, on, the re- on to the real reason why Taylor is here. Yeah. To fight. So, to fight. me yeah. and Taylor got in a fight the other day. Okay. And by fight, it's like, He's mildly annoyed with me. Not really. She got, like, irate <laughs> that I dared do what I did. Okay. So, I got hungry. I can't wait to see whose side I'm on. I made red beans and rice. Okay. Zataran's red beans and rice. I was like, I haven't had that shit in forever, right? Okay. So, I make it, and I get it all done, put it in the bowl, and I open up the th- the uh, drawer and i go oh shit all the forks are dirty and she goes use a spoon and i was like why would i use a spoon for red beans and rice like ew and she goes why wouldn't you that's what you eat rice with what (laughs) wait what (laughs) okay hold on so like just a standard bowl of rice like a bowl of a bowl of rice that you've created yeah if the forks are not dirty <laughs> and the spoons are also not dirty you have you have a choice of utensils here you go for a spoon taylor now <laughs> taylor <laughs> the reasoning is sound because she goes well you can't capture like the last one single grain of rice with a fork but that's the like, game of rice baby you gotta get I don't in there play a game i want to <laughs> eat my fucking rice because <laughs> i was like i mean you're not wrong you gotta like, chase that last four grains around the bowl <laughs> so nope, I'm, I'm i got my head in my hands right shovel now shovel it so, <laughs> shovel so it in. <laughs> when that became a thing it it was like well then how do you eat this and we kind of just started going back and forth on different things that we eat and the ways that you eat them you can't tell me that you came up with like a bunch of different shit that you guys differ on after so many oh, yeah. years of being together <laughs> like oh yeah haven't you we, coagulated we, a little we learned some stuff about each other oh my god <laughs> <laughs> after seven almost seven and a half years we learned some stuff and 
can't make so, eye contact right now. So. <laughs> okay, I'm let's gonna get need into this. you. I'm gonna need you to lead this. <laughs> Take it away. Okay, so the rice thing, obviously, all like forks. I like the spoon. Well, okay, I do have a question though. Uh-huh. Who is the authority that says forks are for rice? I don't know. I don't know. I. Well, humanity, for starters. Well, well, because <laughs> yeah. when I Googled what do you use to eat rice, a fork well, is what came up. So, But I'm like, who is the <laughs> decider? What, like, finishing school said, this is the way this goes. This is manners version of eating foods. See, now that's not really, that, that's got me thinking, because I would feel like if you were to Google how do you eat rice, the first answer should be chopsticks, right? Because rice is kind yeah. of a native Asian food. Yeah. yeah. And they'd be eaten I... with chopsticks. I don't know. But Google does locate you, so it's like, oh, he's in Texas? That fool's using a fork. <laughs> <laughs> There's, like, one man at Google who's like, why is this guy? Okay, just just give him a fork. <laughs> yeah. So I always just think of that video where it's like if Google was a person. Oh, my God, yes. <laughs> uh, animal. <laughs> Alabaster. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Okay. Okay. Um, so, I, have, I have to Google where rice came from real quick. One second, because okay. that's going to drive me nuts. Rice origin. Rice is from China, right? Right? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, okay, yes, right they're here. from China. And they okay. have chopsticks over there, so you would think. Well, yeah. The answer should be chopsticks. I don't know, man. How to eat rice. But just, Eat the rice with a fork for Western dishes. But so just think about that in the back of your mind. Who determines... What's right or wrong? Because at the end of the day, we're all eating this the same. We're all eating rice. Just, I guess it doesn't matter how I'm we, still going to digest this rice. rice. It's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but anyway, what we'll else do you have? With your so fucking I hands, this, uh, animal. <laughs> <laughs> just make a big ball and shove it in your mouth. Um, so I have a short list of foods that we came up with. Because after the rice thing, it was just like, okay, well, what do you eat this with? <laughs> <laughs> so uh mashed potatoes okay that's a that's a fork i have a uh, problem here <laughs> okay so i'm gonna argue that the best utensil for a mashed potato is a spork <laughs> which okay. I, I know we're bringing in a whole new thing into the equation here we said spoon or fork Kelsey. <laughs> but you get like you get the right amount of scoopage and the right amount of stabbage yeah because I was going to say, when you go to KFC you and get you that get spork. a famous bowl, <laughs> you frankly, you do get a spork. You don't get a, a fork. So I love KFC sporks. That is correct. I don't know. But I... when mama makes mashed potatoes, I use a fork. When presented with mashed potatoes on my plate, I am typically eating other forked foods, so I will use a fork. But yeah, I would I, eat mashed potatoes with a spoon. I don't like switching utensils for the same plate. Right. Unless it's necessary. Like, I'm not going to eat applesauce with a fork <laughs> with, alongside my pork chops. I have done that, though, because I'm like, I'm not going to switch for this. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Like, so, if it's mainly, like, fork-eating foods, I'll eat my mashed potatoes with a fork. But if I'm simply just eating a bowl of mashed potatoes, I'm going to go for a spoon. I feel like I would, too. No, I would do a fork. I'm, like, that questioning my own fiber of my being here. Because, like, what See, would I go for? Like, I'm, like, who picturing... Who am I? I'm picturing my silverware drawer. I don't know what I would choose. Whatever was that's, closest. That's what we ran into. We were like, well, I don't know now. Because now I'm trying to think what 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 is the best way, not what would I have used. Yeah. Arguably, so anyway. the best way to eat almost anything is going to be a spoon. But what I would choose is not always going to be a spoon. Uh, Cake. Fork. Fork. See, I don't know. <laughs> Taylor? <laughs> you see, they give you spoons at the restaurant. You see, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, when she... they give you a cake to share or, or a cheesecake or a dessert or whatever, they give you spoons for the whole table. Who's giving you spoons for the whole table? <laughs> Who? Everybody. <laughs> Any restaurant you go to Why and you're spoons? like, I want cake. They give you spoons. It's true, they do. Like... <laughs> The last time we were at Cotton Patch and got Dr. Pepper cake, they gave us spoons to eat with. Did they pour a Dr. Pepper on top of it? Like, why is the spoon involved? I don't know. But you... Okay. If if you go to an Italian place and then you order cheesecake at the end, what yeah. do they give you? I would assume a fork. 
Well, they usually give you a spoon. Why do they give you a spoon? spoon? I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have words of restaurants. <laughs> I don't know, but if I have a piece of cake, cake. <laughs> simply to find out what utensil they give you, <laughs> and then just throw the dessert at them. <laughs> but I would use a fork. I found I found etiquettescholar.com table manners. Oh, Here we go. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Cake with a moist, gooey texture. I hate all this so far. Such as cake <laughs> with a custard filling is eaten with a fork. Ice cream cake <laughs> is served with a fork and a spoon. Which is fucking stupid, stupid to me. The fork that is used to hold so... the portion and the spoon to cut and convey the bite to the mouth. Who oh, wrote okay. this? And convey the bite to the mouth. I love that. What is this? <laughs> oh okay. God. All right. Uh, next on the list, I have uh, grits. And since Robert doesn't eat grits, slash oatmeal. I fucking love grits. Slash yeah. oatmeal. Uh, spoon. That's a spoon. That's that's a spoon. That's a spoon. Okay. <laughs> you thought I was going to say fork. I did. I was like, how are you eating with a fork? <laughs> okay. Uh, beans. Like uh, black beans, for instance. You know, probably a fork. A fork. See, I, I, would, I would say spoon. I'm not going to be mad at spoon for this one because they, they're but slippery. See, that means they're slipping. <laughs> oh, but rice <Yeah>. isn't. <laughs> It's not slippery. Slippery rice are you eating? <laughs> it's sticky. Ugh. Anyways, um, spaghetti. A uh, fork. That's a fork. Yes, a fork. Don't but tell me you did that. I put no. I put spaghetti on the list because I wanted to see if anybody would say the sp- the, f- the, f- the I hate fork that and the spoon that like twirling thing that people do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nah, I'm in a it's I'm so fork extra. it in Stop my it. mouth and I look like Cthulhu. <laughs> We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. That's what we just heard from etiquette.com that they used a fork and a spoon to eat fucking cake. <laughs> to convey the bite to the mouth. <laughs> to hold in place and then to convey. So, technically, that's just the etiquette way to eat spaghetti. I hate okay. it. <laughs> um, pizza. Oh, with your hands. Yes. Yes, hands. Okay, yeah. thank you. Your dad, but, I know, eats it with a fork. Yeah, and my dad and does I eat it with a fork. A if there's any monsters out there eating it with a spoon, I'm gonna have hands. Like, <laughs> but well, I I did a little bit of research too uh, with this game. So like, I saw online that people <laughs> ate their pizza crust first. That's monstrous. Now, I, I, <laughs> yeah, I do I, I do know of that. The crust yeah, is because, the handle. Because. Uh, Pizza Hut used to put that in a commercial for the stuffed crust. You would eat it crust first because it was so good, then the pizza. But yeah, how am I supposed to hold it? You know what the campaign should have been for that is save the best for last. You eat the crust last. I don't know about that. I eat the crust last because, like you said, it's the handle, but it's not my favorite part. (laughs) (laughs) Unless it's stuffed crust, then I'm like... (laughs) Honestly, I don't eat a lot of pizza crust. I usually leave the crust behind. And then stuffed crust, I actually peel it open and I just eat the cheese out. Yes! Okay, so I love that's, to peel it that, open. Uh, we also got onto the subject of weird food eating habits. We've been down this um, road. <laughs> yeah. yeah. With the corn. Uh, Oreos. Uh, I eat my Oreos with a fork. What? What? But, okay, hang on, hang no, on. No, I want to hang on. <laughs> no. Here's the trick with that one. I've got nothing to hang on to. <laughs> this is due to dipping yeah. said Oreo, not just to oh, eat just it. To Are eat you it. taking a fork Dip. and dunking it in your milk? <laughs> the whole thing? So I put the fork <laughs> into the cream and then dip the Oreo in the milk and then eat it off the fork. You hedonistic heathen. I don't want to get my fingers dirty, okay? I, I You don't have to. I don't want to get my fingers wet Just and crunchy. Dunk half of the cookie, in there, like two thirds of the cookie. Hold the no, dry part. No, I want my whole cookie wet, Kelsey. <laughs> Just put the dry cookie bit in your mouth and then <laughs> drink the milk. I don't dunk them though. I just fucking eat them, man. Oh, I don't yeah, well, dunk cookies. That's I don't weird. Talk to you. So. <laughs> yeah. So when she told me that, I was like, "That's kind of weird." Okay. Well, my nephew eats them with a spoon. So how about that? Well, your nephew's probably five. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a teenager. Okay. Well, he's wrong. 
<laughs> so like, he does puts he have to his get... Oreos in his cup like fucking cereal and then fishes them out with the spoon. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> He's a psychopath. <laughs> they make Oreo O's. Just eat those. I know, right? <laughs> See, but then he doesn't like to eat cereal with milk. What does he eat it with? He just eats it dry. Oh, okay. So we're going to introduce just a whole new spoon. concept. Arr, well, I, arr. In my research, I saw that people w- would put uh, orange juice uh, in their cereal uh, instead uh, of milk. Uh, and, uh, yeah, people are out there doing that. If you do that, write in. I want to hear from you. <laughs> Dude, orange juice, cereal, right after I brush my teeth, the ah. best. God. <laughs> What cereal would you put with orange juice? The only one I can think of is cornflakes. Like, that's that's it. Yeah. I don't... Maybe yeah. Cheerios? Rice Krispies, maybe? Something sort of <laughs> blander. Yeah, you need just, like, a standard one. You can't have, like, frosted like flakes. Like, fruity pebbles. Like, cinnamon toast. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> oh, my God. Gross. <laughs> fruit Loops would be okay. Actually, yeah. Why? Because it's, it's just fruit. fruit. <laughs> No. If Fruity Pebbles would be bad, Cocoa no. Pebbles, that would be awful. Not, we're not going to try any of this. I'm like, going to try this. This is just no. Okay, moving if, on. If you would like to watch us try these on Twitch, please write in and let us know. <laughs> please. Oh God, that's... <laughs> we're going to try these weird food. I guys. want to have a Twitch feast when we can see each other again. Twitch feast. Oh Twitch my God. feast. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I have corn dogs on here. Okay. When, when I was little, I liked to eat all the breading off first and then eat the hot dog. Okay. I still do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, man. That's yeah. a way to do it. I mean... I mean, I prefer to eat it just as a whole thing now, but... Oh, God. I, I want a state fair corn dog. Fine. I bet they're not going to have a state fair, you guys. Oh, oh probably up. not. Please don't say that. Oh, fuck. Okay, sorry. I can't go without my... Well, Kit Kat. Ooh, Kit Kat. I, we've already gone over how I eat these. Are you yeah. a heathen? I am a heathen. Take the whole thing and just oh. yomp. Yeah, that's oh super God. weird. See, I found out that my big sister eats it this way today. Like, I was today years old when I found that out. And it's so I satisfying. don't want to talk no. to her anymore. <laughs> so good. Then you're left with a really ugly four bar of Kit Kat. You've never truly lived until you've eaten a Kit Kat no. like that. Mm-hmm. no. You're a psychopath. <laughs> okay, Oreo <laughs> fork. <laughs> um, so in my research for that one, I saw that uh, apparently the Kardashians eat Kit Kats a certain way. They, oh um, Chloe, is it Chloe? I don't remember. Wow. One of them. <laughs> she like eats each end. Of the chocolate, just the chocolate, no wafer part, just eats the, each end of the chocolate, and okay. then she, like, peels apart the wafers. Oh, my God. And eats, like, a part of the wafer with the chocolate on it, and then eats, like, a naked wafer without any chocolate. What? That's so yeah, like, much... Like, she fully deconstructs it. Okay. <laughs> I love to deconstruct food when I eat it, but I don't do it for that. Yeah. Um, Reese's, I like to, uh, poke out the middle and then <laughs> eat the hup part. I, I just, I just standard, like, eat them. I don't know. I didn't know there was no. a different way to do it. <laughs> so, my brother is really good at poking out the middle. So, there used to be commercials for these that, like, said different ways that people would eat them. And I remember seeing the commercial for them punching out the middle. Okay. And I've never been able to do it. And my brother does it perfect every time. And it makes me so mad. <laughs> Like the big but, flat Reese's, right? Not not the not the short stout ones. No, yeah, just like a standard yeah, just normal a standard Reese's. Reese's cup. Okay, I like the the stout see, ones. I like to bite off the bottom and then you eat the middle and then you eat the top. See, okay, yeah. See, I like to eat the entire like ridge around the end and then I eat the middle last. <laughs> so you do the opposite of what I do. Yeah. How many little ridges do you think are on a Reese's? One hundred. No, I think it's less than that. It's gonna be like. Probably sixty. I'd say like fifty-ish. I wonder if there's. I wonder. I wonder if it's out there. Oh, what was your guess, Taylor? Sixty. Ooh, a sixty-six. Ooh. Ooh. Fascinating. <laughs> Fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. Next on my list, this one. I had to put this on the list. Um. I don't do this. I just want to clarify. Okay. But I did the research and. 
Apparently, people do this with cookie dough ice cream. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I'm ready for this. Get a bite. They get a spoonful, a good spoonful with, like, the vanilla and the cookie dough, and then they, like, suck off the ice cream of the cookie dough and spit it out. <laughs> <laughs> and then they they do that until the end, and then at the end, and then they you just have a big this... ball of wet cookie dough, yes. and you just eat it. I do that. <laughs> no, Kelsey. Oh my god, this it's is so over. good. Done. <laughs> I put this one on there because I thought it was funny. <laughs> Somebody put cereal oh. bars in milk thinking it was like a bath bomb what <laughs> why? it's like why doesn't it work oh where's the cereal <laughs> it's like it's not a bath bomb jesus <laughs> have you ever eaten a cereal bar kelsey do those still exist because i i remember yes. like as a kid i used to eat them and they had that like oh, weird yeah, I... milk flavored stuff on the bottom yeah, that's the stuff that grossed me out. It was so it was so yeah, strange. I ate those for breakfast, like every morning. Um, let's see, Swiss rolls. Just the standard, so, like little Debbie roll up cake things. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Is there is there a way to eat these that's not just like bite it? So <laughs> so here's how I do it. <clears throat> okay, hold on. Let me I, guess because you you deconstruct shit. So <laughs> I'm guessing what you do. What, are you, what is this Swiss roll? Like, remind me what they look like. Do you have to, like, is there a chocolate coating on it? Like, a chocolate yes. cake yes. Okay. roll so, with, um, like, cream filling in the middle, and then it's covered in chocolate. So I feel like you're going to bite off the ends of the chocolate to expose the, the spiral within, and then you unspiral that shit, <laughs> and then you eat it like sheet cake. No. That's okay. what I do. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just bite off the ends, and then I, like gingerly like bite the layer off the entire top of it that like arcs over it <laughs> and then i eat it like normal okay <laughs> so that so that so that i can feel that sponginess all right and then cupcakes Ooh, everyone everyone hates the way i eat cupcakes but it's the smartest way to do it you do it the cake boss way you do it like okay so you have the cupcake in your hand and then you you bust off the bottom part yep you the put cake it boss way. on top Cupcake sandwich. Yep, cupcake sandwich. You it's... get equal parts cupcake and icing in every bite. And, and it's, it's not delicious. messy. Yep. Taylor taught me that, and I have done it no other way since. It yep. is it is the perfect way to eat them. <laughs> it is. My sister says it's bougie, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that's about it, though. All uh, right. That was my list. Anyway, that was a fun little game. <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you for bringing this <laughs> anger to our podcast. It was much needed. <laughs> Okay, so I have another question about opinions, but it's not food related. Okay. So when you're holding a controller in a video game. Yeah. And you push up on the right joystick. Yeah. Should your character look up or down? They should look at their feet. Yes. Yes. To their feet. Okay, thank you. Yes. Thank you. (laughs) Okay, good. And then when you pull back, the character looks up. Yeah. Yep. Okay, how about left and right when when you push the joystick to the left? Okay, so I think they should look left. Yes. Okay. Yes, me too. All right. Left Good. Is left. Yes. Okay. And right is right. Here we okay. go. That's great. So here's the thing, though. In old like PlayStation games and stuff, right? Mm-hmm. You used to move the camera with like the the like left and right trigger, right? Yeah. And they used to do it where like when you pulled the right trigger, it was like the camera was swinging to the right, therefore turning you left, right? So it was the opposite way. Oh, yeah. And I used to know that, but then when we got joysticks, it makes a lot more sense to do it, you know, left is left, right is right. Yeah. Right? And then I used to be normal, (laughs) quote unquote normal, but there was a game that I was playing, and I really think it was Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. There was a mission that I had to do, and you had to fly this little plane around, but they wouldn't let you change the controls. Up oh, man. was down, and down was up. Uh huh. So I had to get reconfigured to the inverted model, and I've never been able to go back. Good old airplane controls. I didn't know Kelsey was an airplane. I didn't know that either. It's a hotly debated topic. It I think is. it's the only way that you 
can play a video game. Except, yes. okay, so when, when you're playing... playing for life. Yes. When you're playing mouse and keyboard, though, I know that neither of you are much into PC gaming. No. But when... <laughs> so when Robert you are... straight up hates it. But I have never really experienced trying okay. to learn the keyboard stuff. See, yeah, so with mouse and keyboard, it's different for me because when you push the mouse forward, I expect to look up. Whereas with a joystick, when I push that forward, yeah. I expect to look down. The mouse is like I'm holding someone's chin and being like, look up, look down. Yeah. yeah. Whereas the joystick is like I'm holding the back of their head being like, look down, look up. <laughs> so we keep saying that we're airplanes. It all comes from a Game Informer like flowchart quiz that I took a long time ago. Oh my ago. god, Game Informer. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's a throwback. So um, when it starts, it was like... Did you just buy a first-person shooter game, and then if you said yes, it, you went down this path, and if you said no, you went down this other path, right? Uh-huh. So it was like, did you say no? Well, you're done. But when you said <laughs> okay. yes, it goes, okay, so did you put the game in? I was like, yes. And he goes, okay, the game starts, what do you do next? And then it goes, I check the camera controls. And then it says, okay, when you press up, where do you look? Right? Uh-huh. And so I would say down, and when you would follow that chart, it it, it would say, you are a human, not an airplane. Follow the chart, <laughs> and it would take you back to, when you press the stick, where do you look? Oh my god. And you could never leave until you chose up is up, down is down. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense to me. I don't know. I've never been I able mean, to get my head around it. it did once upon a time, like before we, you know figured out that this was a better way <laughs> before we learned the ways of the airplane it just makes sense i feel like once i learned that i got way more into video games because i was playing the right way <laughs> like, yeah when she I... was first playing tomb raider um she was like you know this game's really fun and i want to play it but it 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 doesn't feel right and i was like what does that mean and she was like i don't know like it just doesn't it doesn't feel right. Like The controls are wonky or something. Yeah, like, when yeah. I'm trying to look where I want to look, I look the opposite way. And I was like, try this. And I switched it to inverted, made her an airplane, and she was like, oh, I'm looking where I want now. And now <laughs> she plays that game on hard with headshots only. Hell yeah. <laughs> so, I was really afraid when you were like, I want to ask you this question that you were going to be mad at us I for know. being airplanes. No, I was... I was worried that you were not airplanes. I'm glad we don't have to fight. <laughs> yes. Lay down our guns. Okay, so are, <laughs> are you ready to to put this utensil back in the drawer? Let's land this, land this airplane. Please, everybody, tell your friends about us. Help us grow this audience. You said this came out on May 4th, right? May the 4th. Well, may the 4th be with you, everybody. Enjoy Star Wars Day. Watch all nine back to back right now. You can't do that in twenty four hours. You will. You better fucking figure <laughs> you it out. Time travel. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to us on your favorite platform so you never miss an episode. We release weekly every Monday, even if it's another pre existing holiday. We don't care. We're still there. If you have a second to rate and review us on Apple Podcasts. Please do so. That would help us out so, so much. It would mean everything to us to see those five brightly shining Star Warsy stars all over our page. While you're out there on the internet, you can find us and friend us on social media. We are at YMBTOAP on Twitter and Instagram. We're still doing the uh, 30-day movie challenge at this point. It is getting heated out there. So many people have some spicy opinions about movies. I really like reading these, these messages you guys send us. So keep them coming. You know, I was thinking we put limits on ourselves to, like, say that we couldn't use the same movie twice for any of these categories. And it's been very challenging because a lot of my favorite movies, like, fall into yeah. a lot of these slots. And I'm wondering mm. if people that are writing in are doing the same thing for themselves. So let us know. I don't know. <laughs> if you're putting these kind of terrible limits on yourself the way that we are. We're curious. <laughs> While you're out there, be sure to like and follow our Facebook page. and Subscribe to our channels on YouTube and Twitch. Every episode comes out the exact same time on YouTube that it does on every podcatcher. So if you don't have a podcatcher app and you don't feel like getting one, YouTube is your friend. Uh, well, Twitch will be back up and running whenever the quarantine is over. Or perhaps sooner if we can find a way to um, stream something that we would enjoy. We keep talking about streaming and then we haven't done it. We should do it. I know. We should stream some Overwatch. It's easy. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, you can email us your ideas for Twitch streams or future podcasts if you want to be a guest or if you have a topic you want to talk about, if you want us to fight about something, if your team's spork, <laughs> you're into eating everything with a knife for some reason. Email us your thoughts on the spork at ymbtoap at gmail.com. Don't forget that stands for You Must Be Thinking of Another Podcast. Uh, our theme song is The Grim Reaper Blows the Horn by Farage. Please, in all this time, you got tons of free time. We're all still in quarantine. Go check him out and listen to all those awesome songs that he has on his YouTube. He's still cranking stuff out, giving us some good stuff to listen to. And go show show him some love. I stalk him on Twitter secretly. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, it's not so secret now. <laughs> it's not. He plays a lot of Animal Crossing and he posts so much shit. And it's, so, it's very exciting. I love watching his character do the weird stuff that he does. As always, thanks for listening, and tune in next time to get the answer to that burning question. Why is Kelsey such a heathen with Kit Kats? But we had one more important sound we wanted you to hear. I watched a TikTok of a guy guy going like, me in the 90s getting ready for a good summer day or whatever, and it's him putting on his Toon Squad jersey oh and shorts, and then he gets, like, a Capri Sun and gets his N64 controller, and I was like, <laughs> I was like, Taylor, I legit wore my Toon Squad shit to school, like, er day. <laughs> I Cute. sure as shit had that Toon Squad outfit, man. Oh my god.